Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to the final episode of season three of Pretty Dories. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I don't want to watch this because <laughs> I'm sad. No, I'd be tired. Oh, my God. Guys. <laughs> Oh, honey. Right, right.
hope you do. We hope you win. Uh. I watch it on the cliff side of a mountain that is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it would have been nice if they just did first person the whole way through, but like, no, they can't.
Remember to pace yourself. Yes. I'll eat in a couple of minutes. It's too emotional. I can't do this. Oh my god. I thought he was going to fall. Oh my god.
Oh. Everybody did a good job. Right? I mean, because in like that last little moment, oh my god. Okay, we gotta go ahead and do it now. Alright, final thoughts on this. Oh my god. I feel like we took the things of season one and season two, and they took, they upped the stakes for this in season three. As I said at the beginning of this, this was an underdog season, especially with how Kita is as a character. I just didn't think that like her story was going to end with like being at her peak because you think when someone is at their most peak that you know they can go higher than that and such and even when she tried and she got out of breath numerous times and it just got really emotional because I, I think this was more emotional than season two was or even Road to the Top because Road to the Top was like hell of emotional and Watching those three, what, three hour long episodes, like, all at once, back to back, like, Jesus, it, it, it hurts, like, truly, this is a journey that, you know, I love experiencing, but oh my god, I don't want to cry all the time, because it's just so sad, and it hurts, but I am proud of her for getting seven wins, like, that is something to be proud about. Was it her dad?
Okay, continuing on. But yeah, this season was really freaking good. Yes, you take everything from season one and season two, cram it together, add in new characters in season three, and just make it even more emotional. Like, that's a season in a nutshell. Oh my god. Um, Even though we're not really... Because from what I heard today and what I also saw when I woke up, it is now confirmed we're getting a movie later on in the year, around May of next year. Um, but I don't think the movie will essentially be quote-unquote season four. We're still probably going to get a fourth season. Um, it is so weird to hear this song now. Because <laughs> of Idolmaster. Um, with the new girl who is going to pop up in the movie, it does give me feels like it seems like this movie might kind of be a sequel to Race of the Top. Even though the girls from Race of the Top will not be featured in said movie, it's about a, a completely different horse girl and everything. But it does make me wonder if Kida, Diamond, Teo, McQueen, any other girls that I'm thinking about that I have not named yet, like anyone from season one up until now, would be featured in it. I mean, yes, Road to the Top did feature Rice. Loved it! 10 out of 10 would recommend because rice and such but I am kind of hoping because it even though like this is the end of Kita's journey like just with both Teo and you know McQueen and special they're still in the show they still have moments where like yes they get to talk to someone else they give to you know um not almost like be a coach for them but like anytime when they have a moment of like not depressed or when they're unsure they come in and they give them this heart-to-heart -heart moment with them they're able to talk it out like we saw with this episode you know having one more Kita and Teo you know a cute little moment between them I want that but whoever is going to be the main focus wh whoever and whenever we get a season four let's say it is insert character a and then Kita takes her under her wing, gives her this like whole big speeches and everything of, you know, being impactful and being able to do this, this, that, and the third. Like, that's what I want to see. Like, continue that tradition because it is really nice. If it's not focused on um, anyone from Spica, uh, new people specifically, if it was my opinion, maybe Diamond, Crown, um... I forgot her name. The one who confessed in last week's episode to Kita in a way. Um, or just anybody. You you could even do What's Her Face. Like the, my other best girl from this season too. Because she only had like what two episodes focused on her. And then y'all gave her kind of the boot and made her a background character. But I get it. There was a reason why they had to do it and such. So I mean but other really this was a really interesting th season. I feel like... If we could, mm, if I had to rate it and adding Road to the Top into it, I think this would be number one. Season two will be my second. Um, Road to the Top and then season one. That does not mean I'm saying season one is the worst season. Season one is still a damn good season, like a really good start of the show. I just feel like, you know, because I really wanted Special to get more ish on her. I'm still pissed about that, but I get the reason on why they did it and such. But could be the main focus into a potential season four it could literally be anything um how i still wanted my road to the top se like season two or movie two but i don't think we're ever really going to get that because it's like once you once somebody this could be anybody once somebody posts um i think a really long behind comment of the whole like career of this horse girl for, for specifically the actual horse and such um, you can, <laughs> the, the look of excitement when I start reading the comments all the way to look of despair and dreadfulness when I get to the end and I'm like, damn, that's it. That's sad, but I get it. It's okay though. I still love this show. Even though I have my own opinions on it and I love it to Christ's sake. I just, I'm right, like... <laughs> emotional roller coaster. That's what this show is. And it, well, I mean, it ain't no Jujutsu Kaisen emotional roller coaster. Let's talk about that. But it is an emotional roller coaster that I do love a lot. I want OVA episodes. Like, I, and I think that would be nice. Like, give me one OVA episode, like Wakita and Diamond again, or McQueen and Teo. Something. Something that makes me freaking happy. God dang it! Like, I, I just need that in my life right now. Watch it not happen. <laughs> 
Let me be Delulu, please. Because <laughs> I need some Delulu in my moment right now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season three of Pretty Derby. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys either later on in the week for really more of tomorrow. Um, for the last episode of season two of JJK. Um... Anything else that I gotta record because there's a lot of things I have to do today and tomorrow before I go back to work on Friday. Um, either, I think, I think, either ne next week or the week after. So, for whatever the heck is coming out for Winter Animes, even though you already know what the heck I'm watching because I already made that list. Um, eventually the movie, the two movies that I have to watch, I'm gonna try to watch those today. Um... I gotta do Patreon stuff today, sugar, and, and a whole bunch of other things, but that is everything that's gonna be coming out in the next few, <laughs> few weeks or like the next month. So it's about to be hell on earth once again for me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.